morning everybody woke up felt refreshed had some espresso and cheese <laughs> for breakfast um but yeah just kind of exploring a little bit we're gonna be uh leaving here pretty soon so our hotel is that building right there right there did not even realize we were right on the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, guys, it's beautiful. See the surfers over there? Boom, it's so cool. Look at that coastline down there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is just, that is beautiful. Oh, look at all the birds flying. See that? Yeah, right there. our bus leaves in like 20 minutes I still gotta grab my luggage but I'm like I gotta figure a way to get down to the Mediterranean Sea get a closer look and I found some steps so I'm heading down okay guys we made it oh my gosh this is a beautiful the Mediterranean Sea folks these surfers have been killing it. It's been fun to watch them. Wish I was out there. This is this is amazing. It's funny because I I mean I knew we were we were close, but I didn't know we were like right on. <laughs> and then walking out of our hotel room this morning, I'm like, oh, okay. This is this is a nice surprise. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, guys. This is what's behind what's behind me right now. There's the stairs that I was able to access down here. Man, beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta take it all in. Just gonna spend another few minutes just checking this this spot out because I won't be back here. I mean, obviously the Metro you can see again, but I won't be back at this location. <laughs> so sometimes when you know, like, will I ever be back here? Just kind of sit and take it. You never know. So as I'm walking up these stairs, I hear I hear drums, and my ears are perking. Let's see what's going on up here. There's a lot of steps. By the way, I was gonna tell you guys. Woke up with a with good news. Got a negative COVID test. That's why I'm out and about. But got my workout this morning. I saw some sick views. Had some cheese and espresso. Check, check, check. Woo! Made it. Okay. All I think this is those kids over there playing the drums. Oh, man, I'm winded. <laughs> All those youth are the way for the school bus. They have a snare drum and a floor tom and a football. I'm like, what more do you need in life? Oh man. All right. Well. Our, man, we leave in 10 minutes, I still gotta get my luggage, so I'm gonna hustle back. I can stay here all day, but it's apparently cooler places than this to see. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty special though. I kind of feel bad because the whole group's down here with their luggage. They haven't loaded up yet, but I'm definitely the last one. <laughs> Hurry up, elevator! <laughs> On the bus. Uh, this is great. one of the busiest roads in Israel, in Israel but it's whatever. empty because of the Sabbath right now. So, this right here is a Roman theater. Can't wait to get inside this bad boy. Oh my goodness. 
Back in the day, about 8 to 10,000 people could fit in here. So this size used to be double. We just got done with a little Bible study, and as a Christian, someone who studied the Bible, to see how things kind of come together and, and see how stories line up, where they were at, um, when special events happen in Scripture, and now being here in those events is seriously mind-blowing. From yesterday to Joppa to here to Caesarea, talking about Acts 10 with the vision of Peter in Joppa, and then coming here to Caesarea to talk to Cornelius. It's it's crazy. Acts 10, <laughs> uh, it's all all here from Joppa to here. Um, I don't know. It's blowing my mind. Yep, this place is beautiful. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Goodness gracious. My mind can't comprehend what I'm seeing. So right here is Herod the Great's palace. This is all 2,000 years old. It's insane. So Pontius Pilate, Herod the Great, Paul were all here in this area, which is amazing. Paul was in prison in here. They don't know exactly where about in this area, but around this general area. Uh, but again, <laughs> just realizing that they were here. Looks like there's a bunch of seashells down there. Look at all these. All right, Landon and Tucker, that's for you. That's a cool one right there. Boom. So right here is where they did chariot races. It's where everyone used to watch. They used to be a lot higher. 20,000 people would be able to hang out in here. Also the Olympic games were in here as well. Pretty, pretty crazy. Sound of the waves is so soothing right here. Perfect temperature today, guys. It's sunny. It's probably like I would say mid 60s. And coming from Idaho, which is like <laughs> inversion and gross right now, it's just fantastic. The texture on this path feels so good on the feet for some reason. You see right there, little chariots. This is the beginning of the race, and then you go around seven times. Now we're headed to the harbor or their airport <laughs> back in the day. So inside there, those are storage vaults for the harbor. They store things in there. Also, do you guys hear that? There's bats inside there, which is kind of sketchy, but kind of cool at the same time. 2,000 years later, it's still standing. Incredible. I also love the prints that are on the floor right here. Beautiful. You can hear the bats all inside there. <laughs> Irene, you want to go in there? Okay. There's bats. No. <laughs> you hear all those? Is that what that is? Yeah, those are bats. Where? All those little squeaking. Oh yeah, you can see them. We're going in. <laughs> oh man, this is sketchy. Oh yeah, they're all back in there. No. Oh, yeah, watch it. This is all. Oh, <laughs> Indiana Jones right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so heightened in here. Oh, there they are, look at all them. Are they getting louder? Oh, yes. <laughs> so kind of jittery from those bats as they're getting louder. This is really cool. A little walk, a little walking area right here. 2,000 years ago, the water actually used to come all the way down here, and they would use this to kind of load the boats 
which is pretty incredible. So this is the first man-made harbor in the world. Um, in Italy, they found this, uh, there's like a volcano ash that if they found out that if you mix it with concrete, it would turn solid. And so um, when, when, it, when it hits water, so they would make that mixture, throw in water, and then they would be able to, to build up that, 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 that rock to make this harbor. It's incredible. I smell coffee and uh, I think it's time to stop and get some coffee. Two shots of espresso. This espresso is so smooth. It's so smooth. It tastes amazing. Yeah. So all those are avocado trees right there. Avocados. Oh, that's a lot. It's not native. Guacamole. For sure. But it's, they grow really Fun well fact, here. I hate avocados. <laughs> all right, next stop is Mount Carmel. More like a hill. So right here is the Valley of Armageddon. Nuts. So right there on the hill, you can barely see it because it's so foggy. Okay, Mount Hermon. That's Nazareth. Over there. This is Galilee. And we're headed there next. So again, back to the Valley of Armageddon. In the Christian faith, this is where we believe that we will come back with Jesus for the final battle. The final countdown. Amazing history, amazing wars that were fought in this area. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy to be here to see that with all the stories and the Bible stories of like Gideon and his 300 men and Josiah. It's a really cool little garden area right here. While we are entering but, into uh, Nazareth. Guys, yeah, welcome to Nazareth. Look at the Nazareth. Welcome three to languages. Nazareth. The Hebrew, Ooh. Arabic, and English. Wow. Uh, yeah, what I want to say. So this is a really well-known hummus restaurant. They only sell hummus. Get me in there. Hey! And that right there is the biggest church in Israel. Fresh olives. It smells so good. Nice gentleman gave me an olive back there. Did he? Oh, I'm jealous. Oh my gosh. So good. So the synagogue in this area, not, not this building, this building was built after, but in this area it's believed that it's where Jesus grew up, where he learned the scriptures, read from Isaiah, saying that the prophecies have been fulfilled. So people that were growing up with Jesus in Nazareth were like, wait, what? And this is where it started when he read from Isaiah, was in this general area. So, pretty crazy. Well, that guy gave me a taste of an olive and I had to come back and buy more. <laughs> it's right where the little alley was where I bought the olives. We stopped at this little restaurant. Super cool looking. All the, the stone. Anyway, looking forward to some food. First lunch. Everyone's trying the olives. You good, Scott? Okay, they need the olives. The olives. <laughs> okay, we got a shawarma right here. It looks amazing. And some fresh squeezed pomegranate juice. Cannot wait for this. Look at that. Well, guys, that was amazing. The pomegranate juice was outstanding. And the shawarma, like, chicken was tender. It was so good. Pomegranate juice right here. This trail right here is part of the Jesus Trail, areas you walked through. 
everybody got their water from here. This is the only well in Nazareth. So they know that Jesus came here because of the only water source. Amazing. Looks like the Starbucks font right there, but it's Star's Coffee. <laughs> So that was called Kinefi, Nazareth's famous desserts. It uh, has like a cheese, not like a, not like a cream cheese, but kind of, and it's, it's sugary. Very interesting, it's like warm as well, um, flaky. It's it, really interesting, but really good. So when I was in there, the guy gave me this little ball called Zlefia. Zlefia, I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Oh. It looks like it looks like orange chicken from Pan Express. It's a hard shell and it's a fruity inner. Like juice coming out of it. I don't know what kind of juice that is. Very, very sweet. We have now made a stop to Galley and we're headed up to a nice view. All these wildflowers. Those are poppies right there. Beautiful. Nazareth right there. It's a great view. Whew. Here's the view. So this is another shot of the Valley of Armageddon. Really nice shot. Well guys, we just got to our hotel. We're gonna go have dinner down there pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and FaceTime the boys and, and Lacey and I believe Aunt Cass. Um, I haven't really, fa I FaceTimed Lacey earlier today, but not the boys. But it's a beautiful, beautiful area. Um, the weather's perfect, nice evening. And I'll probably, after dinner, do a little bit of editing, get some of the, I'm gonna start editing the travel day video um, for you guys. Really looking forward to showing you guys these videos. Um, today was insane. Uh, still trying to process stuff. It was really hard to it was really hard to vlog today because I was still processing things as I was vlogging. So hopefully, hopefully things made sense. But uh, this is uh, this is perfect. So really, really loving this area. Well, just got done FaceTiming the family. It was awesome to see them. Miss them already. Uh, I've headed up for dinner right up there looking forward to it. it's like a buffet i think this is big in here goodness look how big that is look at that one on that side <laughs> that's huge meatballs rice i didn't know mm -mm -mm. I love this right here, tiny pasta pieces. These are tiny pasta pieces. So they call this sausage. Pretty sure it's a hot dog. Oh wow, that's awesome. I drank so much water today and coffee. I need to find a bathroom again. Um, the chocolate cake was insane. Or I don't even know if it's called chocolate cake, whatever that is called. It was amazing. Um, also, what really surprised me was a meat called beef tongue just tongue. It was really good. It was really like tender and really flavorful. That surprised me. I was a little bit scared to eat that, but it was actually pretty good. So I found the bathroom, but I want to show you this really cool like lounge area that I found. This whole area right here. Really cool. Probably do some editing in here. There's a espresso bar right there, which is fantastic. It's all you need. Couches and espresso. Does the soul good. Coming back for some more dessert. I heard this one right here tastes like Lucky Charms. So, start for that. It's about 10.45 uh, or so. I was uh, downstairs editing, kind of in the lobby area, kind of what I showed you earlier, and uh, just kind of processing and uh, what happened, kind of chit-chatting away and enjoying the evening. Um, man, it was, it, was a, it was a great day. But um, I thought I would show you the room tour really fast. Uh, and uh, that way you kind of see where we're staying tonight, actually for the next three nights. Okay, as you walk in, number one, you have to have your key card for the, the lights to work. Um, but we have the bathroom in here. 
It's really good size, actually. Nice shower. And we got some of these premium something body lotion. There it is. And then we have this little area over here. Uh, I got some coffee. I'm not really sure about this coffee. It's instant coffee. Everything here is, is stronger than the States. So it might be good instant coffee, but it's not like a coffee pot. So just boil the water and then we'll just throw some of that in there. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then you enter into the main room. So my dad is with me on this trip, but he's actually staying in a different room tonight. Um, but this is the room, it's nice. These beds, they're small, but they work perfect. Um, and we have like a little couch over here, coffee, coffee table, my suitcase, got a nice little mirror, another chair, a desk, and a TV. And then here's our little patio right here, nice little view. The Sea of Galilee is right, is right over there. So I'm excited tomorrow morning to check that out. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sack because I am, I'm tired. I'm actually excited to like rewatch this video, actually put it together because obviously it's not put together yet. <laughs> because part of the reason why I love vlogging is is because I'm like journaling and so I'm able to kind of look back and remember different things because there's so much to process today. So looking forward to that and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know below. I'd love to answer those, but there's so much more to come guys. And uh, so if you haven't subscribed, do that and ring that bell because that notifies you when new videos post. But anyways, guys, love you so much and uh, I, will, I will see you tomorrow or for you guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.